You know, I'm Challenger, I have no life, and I'm Asian, so I probably can get rank 1. Last time on Dragon Balls in my mouth, we were at 667 LP. But now we'll be hopping right into a Rek'Sai game, and I see some action happening in the top lane. And you know, it looks like she's having some trouble, but she's also stalling pretty hard. She's also cutting around the minions, which is really funny because it actually fucks up Graves' as auto attacks. And that's enough stalling for me to come in and close the deal. So we're off to a very good start in this game. Later on, I see shit's going down in the bot lane, and I'm like, ooh, that's a free kill in Ezreal, or at least I can zone him off the tower. But right here, hmm, I definitely should have thought of Ezreal using his E and waiting until he uses it, then I can unburrow right under him. But I think the outcome would have been the same. But you know, in this game, I feel like we got a pretty nice lead, and that early game, it definitely snowballed pretty hard. And right here, I'm just thinking Kennen doesn't have his W, but oops, I was wrong. Later on, we uh, set up in this bush, and just waiting for someone to walk in this bush. Kennen walks in, so we say, hey, let's go kill him, but he turns around on us pretty quickly. So I'm just trying to guard this Lucian with my life, and now this Ezreal is coming in for him. But Brom puts up his shield and says, fuck you, and Lucian doesn't die. Awesome. But yeah, this game I was kind of screwing around, I mean, if you look at my build, I have a frozen mallet, and I'm trying to get as easy rob portal. I mean, all of our lanes actually won, and we're up so many towers, and we only have like one tower down. So I just felt really ahead, and I was just building stupid shit, you know, just to have some fun. But if I saw a big throw, then I uh, will probably build some good items. Fast forward a little bit, we get a pick on Ziggs, and now we're sieging down the mid lane. But I have a question for you, what do you think is a good idea? Get the inhibitor, or initiate on an enemy team? Well, the answer is to just get the inhibitor and walk away. There's no need to fight this as the enemy team is really kitey, and if you're just diving in the back line alone, there's a chance you might be bursted down. Now my team almost wins this team fight, but I honestly just suicided for no reason. Now if we got a wombo combo and Annie had flash, it would have been really good. But to be honest, I just initiated to see what would happen. Since I always prioritize objectives, I want to see what happened if I, you know, went for an engage. And that's what happened, so lesson learned. And here, ooh, maybe I should have been doing Baron. At the same time, I didn't want Graves coming by, so what I was hoping was maybe my team could get it low enough so I can come in for a smite while I kind of distract him, but whoa, this team fight is not looking too good. But then Annie comes around, and now it's looking pretty good. So we definitely want blood, and we get a pick onto the Leona, and then we get a pick onto the Ziggs, and then we get a pick onto the Nexus. And off this game, we gain 20 LP. But on the next game, oh, I felt bad. See, my team was full of Diamond 1s, and maybe like one Master player, but the other team also had Diamond 1 players. But like two Diamond 1 players actually had really high win rates, and three of them have been queuing for a long time, so I think they were dynamic boosting. I'm not 100% sure, but I definitely should have dodged this game. And you're probably wondering, because of the boosters? No, how would I have known that after waiting 35 minutes in queue, there would be three people on our team who might be boosters? No, it wasn't about that. It was about our team comp. First of all, we had a Karthus top, who's gonna be useless if he becomes behind, and also against someone like a Riven, eh, you're not gonna do good if she all ends you. But the biggest reason, and I'm not saying the player was bad, but the biggest reason is we have a rise on the team. You know, 37% win rate, but we also have Sona, which is, you know, really good at the moment. So I was in a little dilemma whether I should dodge or not, and I was on the edge of dodging. Obviously, I didn't know what the outcome of this game would have been, you know, before playing it, but my gut feeling said, you should probably dodge, you have a rise on your team. Oh yeah, and uh, Karthus top. But I was like, eh, what could possibly go wrong? And oh boy, was I wrong. But you know, if you are still listening to me, if you think you have a really bad team comp like all AD or you know just a shit team comp or someone's trolling on your team and like going some I don't know Caitlyn support and Ezreal bottom there's a slight chance you'll win but a high chance you'll probably lose so it's a good idea to dodge. I mean you only lose 3 LP so it was a really big deal? Nah it really isn't. But the second dodge costs you 10 LP plus 30 minutes of waiting. So it's up to you if you want to play a game that doesn't look good but Dodging is a legitimate strategy that I use a lot. Like, uh, you know, when I'm streaming, the people in my chat say, don't dodge, and then I say, fuck you guys, I gotta dodge. Usually when I do this, I lose about 50 viewers, but you know, what's more important, 20 LP or 50 viewers? Uh, I guess some people would kill to have 50 viewers, but I am not one of them, and I prefer LP. Now, Nilly goes on this little goose chase with me, and... I kill her, that's what happens. But in the early game, I felt like I wasn't applying enough pressure, but Nidalee was doing more work than I was. I was just getting fed free kills, and that's why I have a score that looks like this. But in reality, I know in my mind that 
I am not doing good right now. Like, I'm not happy with my performance. Like, I feel I could have played the early game a little bit more aggressive. There are some ganks in this game I didn't show, but it was some mechanical errors that I just did. And if I didn't pull off that mechanical error, I would have gotten a kill, but it's not that what's kind of bugging me. Haha, <laughs> get it, because I'm playing Kha'Zix, but it's uh, more on my personal performance on how I got out jungled. So even though I did good this game, well, apparently did good, I just feel like shit because I got out jungled, to be honest. And you might be wondering why I picked Kha'Zix that game. Well, it was because I was bored. Like, he's a good champion, but I just want to open my champion pool a little bit and having a little bit more fun while having more diversity. Anyways, in this game, we were shitting on the bot lane, and I probably should have gotten Spell Thief's Edge, but I was hoping my other side would carry, and then uh, my AD carry does this. Uh, I don't know what the fuck that was, but, uh, hmm. Hmm. I don't even flash because I know I'm dead, so, yeah, that just happened. And I'm pretty fucking pissed because we were doing so good in the laning phase and then we just kind of threw it all away. Now this death is my fault because our AD carry said Nidalee was bottom but I didn't think they could gank us but I did kind of forget about Jin ultimate which can be used as an initiation tool from long range. So we definitely should have backed out of here right when our AD carry said Nidalee was bottom. Now this is going to be my last resort on the Jin, which is going to be an all in but I forgot my R was not on quick cast due to a rumble game that I played earlier in a normal game so I'm not 100% sure if this would have been better and had shot it out quicker but yeah two mistakes i did kind of costed us the game and i definitely went over my settings after that later on we decided to open mid because everyone lost their lane and we lose 16 lp but now we're back in the top lane and i play cannon there's a lot more other top laners i'm working on but let's start right into the cannon and oh shit we already got ganked now I'm not used to people flashing into me as Gragas since I don't really play mid lane or top lane too much against the Gragas but I probably should have expected it since I see Graguses do this all the time. And you see this Q that comes, you can easily dodge it if you knew what Gragas was going to do next. Now from this experience, I learned through muscle memory that I should juke whenever he throws his Q out. Now right here, ooh, this is a big mistake I make. Definitely did not expect the Jax to be in the bush and I actually could have got out of this trade but... I didn't realize his Q would be up again. See an experienced top laner would expect something coming out of the bush and use his Q to check if he's in the bush, but not me. I'm still learning the ways of the Jax matchup. And right here I should have probably flashed so I could stun him, but they do get away. So I decided to go into Lucian instead, but then I actually see they haven't actually ported really far away from us. So I come in and join my teammates for this little cleanup. Now remember what I said about muscle memory playing against the Gragas? Well I remember that and I juked to the left. And I'm thinking of turning here but you know not a lot of us are around so I decide to try and get out of here. By doing the teleport no jutsu trick, sadly I am spotted while doing this escape. So now it's time for me to get the fuck out of here by running away. And you can see this Janice recalling but once she sees that I'm actually still alive, she's coming to the rescue. And this shield saved my ass so hard that I popped my ultimate and chained CC the shit out of everyone in that circle. Woo, I'm so happy I did that but also that was just luck that everything turned out good. Let's be honest here, if the game was going even, it would have turned out much worse. Now once I stun this Jax, I actually laugh at him, you know, because I'm a cocky asshole, but he does jump on me and I kill him, which surprised me. You know, I didn't think I could kill him because he kind of has MR, but apparently I can. And that game ends up me being carried once again, coming from all the lanes except top lane, and you know, I get a free win. I also have the most CS in this game, so I'm really proud of that. Like, wow, I feel good, but not really because I sucked that game. Now jumping right into this game, I'm doing blue. Watch me do blue. And oh, I didn't smite that. Evelyn did. This fucking cheeser. I could have maybe flashed you here, but it would have been kind of hard. Like, look at this Evelyn. She just has a hard on for me and keeps getting into my jungle, which is something I want to actually learn and work on because I'm not an aggressive jungler at all. But this style, I definitely like a lot. And I should definitely do this when I'm ahead. But I don't trust my teammates to follow up for some reason. But I definitely want to be more of an aggressive jungler because it puts pressure onto the enemy jungle and helps my team a lot. I did die here because I didn't know Ziggs was around, so I'm pretty sad. But he also dies too, so I'm pretty happy. And it's actually pretty worth for us. So, you know, when you're behind, you want to farm the camps, but right here, I see the victor's in trouble, so I'm coming to help. But the what the fuck, why is Olaf here? And now I'm dead, because I can't really do anything to him. And if I repelled, no one would have came to help, so yeah, I was just super confused why he was there. And me and Victor die. Could I have prevented that death? No, because the last thing on my mind was Olaf being there, and I could have probably avoided him by just going the other way and not helping Victor, but that's not really how I play. So in my mind, I don't think I could have prevented it. And right here, I try and repel to the rates. Oh wait, I forgot I took them earlier. Aw, shit. 
So I die because of something silly. And now here, me and Chinomir are planning some dive, but I'm also going to try and get some jungle wards. And wow, what a great cocoon. To be honest, I don't know how I missed this one. This should have been a really easy one, but since I missed the cocoon, I die for it. But thankfully, my team has my back and is carrying the shit out of me. Even without any jungle pressure, they all won their lanes by themselves. Woo, I'm pretty lucky to have this kind of team on my side, and I just love being boosted by my teammates. Fuck, but I actually did feel pretty boosted after some of the plays I made in this game. And there was something coming inside of me. I think I'm on autopilot mode at this point. Some of the mistakes I'm making, I should not be making. Like the Wraith Camp one, oh, I definitely was not thinking about that one. But whatever, this game puts us at 677 LP. To be honest, I don't know. Maybe I should feed more. Shit like this always happens, so I think it might be a good idea to start feeding more. But now after this game, I kind of noticed that I'm in an autopilot mode. So I'm going like ham on this champion select to get everyone organized and everyone in a comfortable position so I can get boosted and my teammates can carry me. But it was so stressful to get this organized and uh, everyone in a comfortable position. I even say it to my stream that we're going to win this game because I set it up. Watch boys, I set it up to have us to win. Yeah, no, we, we set... We're set up to actually win this game. I set this up really good. Champion Slick was super fucking hard, but I set it up. I'm hungry. Like, Boxer Pete is on Trindamir in the top lane, so he's gonna carry. Moon is in the jungle, so he's gonna carry as well. And I'm playing an OP champion, so we have that. And Trindamir actually first blooded the Gnar, and we're getting a gank from Nidalee, which lands as a kill onto the Braum. So we are in a really good position at the start. She even comes in for a dive that I personally would not do, because it seems really risky, but it does work out in the end. And we get a kill onto the Jin. We even get a flash out of Katarina, because she tries to go onto her Ezreal, but luckily he does not die. See, I told you, this champion select, I set it up for us to win. And now right here, we're shitting on the lane, but right when Braum jumped to me, I should have suspected something and flashed immediately, but when I pressed the F key, it was too late and I was stunned already. So shit, that was my bad. And we're actually kind of losing, but we have a jungle fight. Echo lands a nice stun onto the Kale, and I thought she was dead, so I didn't think I needed to ult there, but apparently, Jin healed and Cat jumps right onto me. And yeah, I guess I should have ulted sooner. I didn't realize they'd all live. Like, fuck, that was such a greedy ultimate. We would have won for sure if I had casted it sooner, but I thought everyone would be dead. And I could hold on to it. Like, holy fuck, that was so greedy of me. And you know what I always say, better safe than sorry. Well, I wasn't uh, safe there, and I was definitely really sorry about that one. Like, actually, looking at it again pisses me off, because that's a mistake that could have been game-changing if I had used the ultimate a little bit earlier. I also did forget that Echo stun is now 1.75 seconds, so I was trying to change the CC, but since I had forgotten that it's not 2.25 seconds anymore, and I just felt like shit after that fight, because that for sure would have won a teamfight for us. But nope, got greedy. Anyways, holy fuck, um... I could have changed the game so hard if I had done that one ultimate. Anyways, we lose 16 LP. Again, we play Sona, but this game, our solo lanes aren't really doing too hot. But also, I just want to say that their whole team is AD, so I kind of have an excuse to go Ancient Coin this game, just because it builds into a Raptor Cloak, so I like the armor. And I also go Ancient Coin if I want to be passive. Usually, whenever I go aggressive with a Spell Thieves Edge, I get destroyed. So I'm kind of scared of, like, you know, Challenger, support laners who know what they're doing. And then there's me who kind of knows what he's doing, but not really. So I tend to play more passive with the coin and not really too aggressive. But I'm starting to see where some matchups I should be taking the Spell Thieves Edge for sure. Now, we kind of got shit on in the laning phase, but this Lucian is actually getting quite fed thanks to my shitty support. And as long as we stop feeding and make it to the mid game and late game, we'll have some armor and we'll be able to beat the enemy team since they're all AD. Now there's going to be a little team fight going on in the mid lane and I don't know if I should have ulted just Riven, but I make the mistake here of leaving Cassidin alone and isolated so he gets extra damage from the Kha'Zix and maybe he could have survived for a little bit longer, but I was thinking of ditching him and running for my life, but I didn't really see the Kindred who was behind me. And here I'm thinking of ditching, but you know, we can 1v2 the Ash, but Pantheon is coming in, so that's a problem. And, well, there's no way we're getting out of this, and he manhandles us with Kha'Zix. Feels kind of bad, man. And yeah, our team right now is just getting ass blasted right now, and we're just not having a good time. So apparently my strategy to feed and win is not working out too well. Although our soul laner is also fed as well, but that was not part of the plan. I'm also giving the jungle to Moon because I know he's a better jungler than me at the moment, and I can probably play a better support than he can. So that's why I always opt out of the jungle and play support. But yeah, these games just feel bad, man. I know if I were a better support, I could probably win the lane, but I just can't do it. And yeah, kind of sucks. 
Alright, so next up we're going to be playing Sona again. And right here, the enemy all ends on our Jin. But Jin doesn't have his summoners right now. Because he had some bug where he flashed an E at the beginning. Because he had a HUD glitch, so he burned it at like 0 minutes. So, you know, he probably could have lived if he had heal and flash. And now I'm trying to bait this Ezreal into killing me or all ending on me. But uh, I guess I wasn't needed too much and he actually does all in me. And I'm thinking just like, oh, he has no summoners, so I'm safe. But apparently he still has his flash and I thought my teammates told me he had no flash. So I'm like thinking, yo, what the fuck? My teammates lied to me. But apparently my teammates said he has flash, no heal, and I misinterpreted some fucking how. So, holy shit, that was my bad. But, you know, if he had no flash, it would have gone better. But maybe I didn't have to do anything at all and at least would have solo killed him. But holy shit, I definitely am an autopilot if I made a mistake like that. And wow, we actually get baited by Thezreal jumping in on us. And yeah, honestly, I'm learning that when the enemies go aggressive, their jungler is probably around. And maybe we should stop going for the kill and just back off. But here, Ezreal takes too much tower shots, and now Janna is cock blocking us. And I can't really do anything here, but Ezreal steps forward, and I accidentally take the kill, I think. But now I'm setting up for a slow power cord, so Elise can get a catch onto the Janna. And luckily, I don't get the kill, but Elise gets it. Now, remember what I said about people being aggressive? It means they're baiting something. So I say, hey, let's go onto this Ezreal. And we kill him, thankfully, because he didn't dodge Jin's W. But he almost baited us for sure. You can see a lot of people are coming in into the bot lane. Luckily, we baited him into our jungler. You can see these games are just basically baiting people into stupid fights. That's why when you see high elo AD carries hold their flash or heal, it's because they want to bait people into overextending for them. Now if you haven't noticed already, the enemy team is full of magic damage dealers. This Zac got really far in lane, so he's a really big beast right now, since he has a lot of magic resist. But also, if you already haven't noticed, we're also all magic damage, except Jin. But yeah, this game, since Ezreal isn't doing so hot, I'm going to be building a lot of magic resist, as well as my teammates. But yeah, our team is just getting really far ahead in this game right now, and I'm being carried yet again. But I'm not feeding this time, well, not too much, so maybe this new plan of mine where I don't feed is a better plan. Anyways, our team decides to do the Baron. I'm just over here trying to zone off the Nidalee from killing the Baron by using my ultimate. But now a team fight starts and I'm on the other side of the wall. Although I'm not really taking too much damage since I have a lot of magic resist. And holy shit, this Zac went so deep and actually dies, but he has his passive, so he's gonna live. And these blobs are coming together really fast, so he flashes out. And I'm trying to save him any way I can. I also remember I have Mikhail's, so I do that. And then I decide it's time to body block whatever skill shots are coming. Oh, and I do save the day. So yeah, Zack is really massive right now, and also really tanky, especially with the support of Asona, it works out a bit. And now, since we have the Baron, we go for a little Baron push. We're kind of doing whatever we want because we're so far ahead, and yeah, everyone on the enemy team is dying. And Diana tries to go on me, but little did she know, my W is up every 4 seconds, so I basically got infinite heals and shields. But yeah, this game feels good man to be carried by my teammates. And now we're at 659 LP, putting us at rank 64. But I do apologize that this episode is really long, and I don't really intend it that way, but it just happens like that. But anyways, on the next episode of Dragon Ball Z, we have a lot of LCS players such as Bjergsen, Meteos, Impact, Aphromu, Alexich, and apparently the Gangplank is Darshan. So make sure to watch that episode when it comes out, and if you guys did like this video, make sure to leave a like, and if you didn't, make sure to subscribe. Anyways, I am Panzer Dragon, and I'll see you guys next time.